today, a big boost for Boeing and its troubled 737 MAX, a substantial order for 74, 75 rather, more planes. And it comes from one of its biggest customers. King 5 Aviation Specialist Glenn Farley is live in Renton tonight. So Glenn, with layoffs and thousands leaving the company, will those stop? Uh, they won't stop, but you know what? I can tell you this, that the Renton flight line tonight is very busy. You see United just in the next stall over in the last few minutes, an American Airlines Max that had been sitting here for weeks and weeks just got towed away. There are a lot of lights flashing, everything else going on here. We could still see Boeing cut another 11,000 jobs through attrition or voluntary layoff. But this order should help stabilize production here in the Renton factory, but it won't make that much of a dent, as you'll see. Boeing is trying to get back to normal as a new 737 MAX for Southwest Airlines takes off from where it was built in Renton. The latest news coming from Europe's biggest airline, Ryanair, often referred to as the Southwest Airlines of Europe with its play on low fares. And like Southwest, it only flies the Boeing 737. Michael O'Leary leads the airline and the new plane is being named the Game Changer. We are uh, increasing our aircraft order by 75 units. That's on top of the 135 maxes the airline already has on order, including a few dozen like this one already built and parked for months. For Boeing, just weeks out from having the FAA sign off on the airplane as safe and lifting a 20-month-long grounding in the wake of two crashes in Indonesia and Ethiopia, the order, along with a vaccine that's expected to bring passengers back, is a boost. It is, demonstrates the confidence that we both have in the future of our industry, and we do. Make no mistake about it. Boeing CEO David Calhoun, who took over in the middle of the MAX crisis. We will never forget the accidents that uh, put us in the place that we were, ever. Uh, we have reinstilled, reinvigorated, use any word you like, um, uh, everything that has anything to do with safety. Ryanair's order for 75 more planes is a shot in the arm, but it doesn't wipe out Boeing's losses of more than 400 MAX jets, mostly due to the effects of COVID. But will passengers fly on the MAX? But certainly for the first three, four, six months, any customer who's getting on a, a MAX aircraft that doesn't want to fly in that MAX aircraft, we say, that's fine, no problem. You can wait and go on the next NG aircraft. Uh, we let people offload if you want. I don't think there'll be very many. There, there is no rebranding going on. There's nothing cute about the way we're sort of emphasizing the 737 family. So the MAX will remain the MAX as far as Boeing is concerned. Airlines can make their own decisions on what they want to call it. Meanwhile, American Airlines is already doing demonstration flights, flying around its own employees, trying to say this is a safe airplane. But the families of those who lost people on those two MAX crashes, they still claim it's not safe enough. Live in Renton, Glenn Farley, King 5 News. Glenn, thank you. And on a related note, with all the recent good news about the 737 MAX getting back into the air, Boeing stock has been doing very well. Today, prices jumped just shy of 6%, closing at $237 a share. Overall, Boeing stocks have been on the rise for about a month, just over a month, coming back from a low of $144 a share back on October 30th. The bleak winter.